Thank you, Sandro. And uh, I apologize for not being at the, the Congress yesterday and the day before. Today I wish to speak about uh, uh, some restoration project, a long series of restoration projects uh, um, carried out on Italian islands with the aim of eradicating black rat. Um, uh, to begin with, I would like to introduce you the main characters of this uh, never-ending story. Uh, the first one is the black rat, which is the most widespread mammal on uh, Mediterranean islands. And uh, it has a detrimental impact on uh, nesting success of uh, some seabird species. The first one is the Yelpon shearwater, and the second one is the Scopolis shearwater. They are endangered uh, bird species, and uh, the black rat uh, preys upon uh, chicks and, in some cases, uh, eggs of uh, these uh, species. And um, what about uh, uh, funding of this uh, project? Um, uh, main uh, funding uh, came from uh, Life Project. There is a long list, as you can see, of Life, life Project starting from uh, 97 but in some cases uh, uh, protected areas uh, financed uh, mm, the project uh, with their uh, resources and uh, uh, starting with the um, description with the report of uh, our uh, actions uh, we have to go back to 1999 when uh, the first uh, um, wave of uh, uh, actions uh, uh, was carried out on uh, Toscan islands. Um, uh, we chose to face uh, small islands, very small islands, uh, large, not more than six uh, hectares, and the projects were uh, successful. We um, eradicate uh, rats from uh, small islands, but uh, uh, we experienced uh, uh, a problem, the rat reinvasion, uh, which occurred uh, in uh, all island closer than 400 meters from mainland or other uh, inhab rat inhabited islands. Um, gaining uh, uh, experience and confidence in our uh, techniques and strategies, we faced uh, uh, larger islands, much larger islands, uh, such as Zannone uh, in the Latium region and uh, Giannutri uh, in Tuscany. Um, the actions were uh, uh, successful. We used, uh, uh, especially in Zannone, a mixed uh, distribution, as you can see, um, mainly uh, placing bite stations on the ground uh, uh, with uh, anticoagulant rodenticides and uh, in uh, some inaccessible areas we um, launched by helicopters uh, bite containers, self-made bite containers as you can see, uh, bamboo bite containers uh, for uh, um, fighting against rats in uh, cliffs and other inaccessible uh, areas. Uh, next island in uh, 2008 uh, was uh, uh, Molara, a uh, large island uh, in the eastern uh, Sardinia. Uh, the eradication was uh, successful. We used for the first time in the Mediterranean basin the uh, aerial distribution of loose bait, uh, pellet bait. Um, the eradication was uh, successful, but it was uh, a problem that the island, after 21 months after uh, the action, was reinvaded by rats. Um, dealing with failure is important in conservation because you can learn uh, uh, many things by analyzing uh, a failure, such as uh, that uh, of uh, Molara. So we did a genetic analysis on uh, rats, uh, on reinvading rats, uh, on the new invaders uh, rats, uh, which were uh, totally different from the uh, population present on the island before rat eradication. So. Um, Next step was trying to understand if uh, the rats uh, may invade the island, may have invaded the island uh, swimming, but uh, I think that uh, it's, it's quite difficult because 
uh, the distance, uh, the swimming distance from the mainland is uh, more than one kilometer. It, it, uh, that is a very, very difficult distance to be swimmed by a rat. So the most likely um, hypothesis is that uh, it was a man-driven uh, reinvasion. Rats were brought by men. Uh, this is uh, corroborated by the fact that rabbits also appeared uh, in the, at the same time on the island. Next islands were the most important colonies, most important sheer water colonies of the Mediterranean. Uh, as uh, maybe you know, Monte Cristo uh, rats were eradicated uh, in 2010. It was uh, a successful action. Now the, uh, colo the sheer water colony of uh, Monte Cristo is increasing. Uh, we are now uh, just now eradicating uh, rats from Linosa and Tavolara. And uh, those are uh, crucial actions, in my opinion, because uh, uh, these two islands are the main shear water colonies of uh, uh, Calonectris diomedea and uh, Puffinus yelquan in the Mediterranean and also in the world. So, a positive outcome of this project might uh, reverse uh, in a decisive uh, way the conservation status of, the, uh, of these uh, two shear water species. But there we experienced the problem because uh, we, for doing uh, rat eradication in Tavolara, we need to use aerial distribution, which now is uh, um, regulated by a uh, new uh, European regulation. The health ministry in uh, Italy um, should uh, grant a derogation for using this technique. And we asked for derogation, but um, we have at the beginning a, neg a negative reply because they say that uh, um, the extinction of a species is not a valid reason for granting a derogation. But we struggled for uh, more than one year and at the end we obtained the derogation. Now we are working with uh, two, years, uh, two years late uh, about the the program, but we are now doing eradication also in Tavolara. A key aspect of conservation projects uh, is uh, showing actual benefits to uh, target species. Uh, we often show um, pictures like uh, this you can see, which are just a sample from our experience, showing that uh, reproductive success of shear waters can increase from about 10% and also less to 80, 90 and also 100% uh, when rats uh, have been removed. This um, is a clear demonstration of the effectiveness of this kind of uh, projects. The uh, other side of the medal could be the impact on non-target species. Um, it's a, a common concern in conservation projects implying the use of rodenticides uh, to check the, um, any possible impact on non-target species. In uh, this year we have a large experience, uh, we have um, several case uh, study about the uh, effect of uh, rat eradication on uh, population of non-target species. For example, we have an increase of population of lizard, geckos, uh, and um, endemic uh, species uh, on island. So um, rat removal has a positive effect on lizards and geckos. Of course, uh, uh, could be uh, a problem the extinction of uh, some birds of prey which uh, rely for um, their uh, survival on the presence uh, of uh, alien species uh, like rats. So uh, Tito Alba, the barn owl, has gone extinct in uh, one island uh, in uh, Giannutri and maybe also in Molara, but I think that uh, it could be um, uh, an effort that uh, can be balanced by the huge benefits deriving from rat removal to the wool ecosystem and species in, uh, in the island. And uh, the last uh, uh, project we are dealing with uh, are uh, located in uh, inhabited islands. Uh, 
especially Linosa and Ventotene, which are two islands hosting important uh, shearwater colonies. We are working uh, in the presence of a resident population, human population, of uh, 500, 700, depending on the island, uh, during the winter. In summer, they are much more. Um, and so we have to face uh, some uh, challenging problems. For example, in uh, Ventotene uh, and Linosa, we uh, evaluate the risk for snail eaters. Uh, people who eat uh, snails can be at risk of poisoning because, as you can see in the, in the photo, snails can eat uh, rodent bait. Um, there, are, there are also problems for uh, um, people who has uh, pets, uh, such as uh, cats, dogs, uh, that can be at risk of poisoning. So in uh, these areas we usually use uh, uh, not Brodifacum, which is the most potent anticoagulant rodenticide, but we uh, use Bromodialon um, or uh, Diphenacum, which has much less toxic for non-target species, so avoiding risk for pets and also for snail eaters. Um, in uh, uh, Linosa and uh, Ventotene, uh, the uh, municipality made uh, uh, regulation avoiding the collection of snails uh, for about uh, uh, three or four months uh, after rat eradication. An interesting aspect emerging uh, uh, just in Ventotene is the um, socioeconomic benefits deriving from rat removal is a, uh, an important uh, aspect because uh, um, we have estimated a saving of about uh, 10,000 euro per year only by removing uh, black rats from Ventotene because we save uh, cost for uh, pest control, we save uh, cost for uh, damage to cultivations and also cost for the municipality for uh, urban pest control. Uh, there are other aspects uh, difficult to be included in uh, a monetary budget but of course you can uh, uh, lower the environmental impact of the use of rodenticides. In Ventotene, every year, uh, have been, um, are used 250 kilograms of uh, anticoagulants, which are spread in the environment by the private uh, um, to, to protect their cultivations or their home. There is also an interesting aspect that we are just studying in these days, which is the um, risk of zoonosis, which can be much lowered by the rat removal uh, for uh, some pathogens which can be carried by rats. And Piero was talking um, before uh, in the morning about uh, priority uh, and uh, for allocating the few economic uh, uh, resources dedicated to, to this kind of project. This is an example. Um, we made a paper uh, in the, about uh, eight years ago uh, listing Italian islands uh, for the um, priority for uh, rat eradication. I am very pleased to um, to show you that uh, most, the most important uh, islands of the list in the meantime where uh, rats were removed from this island. So it was not uh, only uh, a paper but um, it was also a list involving practical actions to be carried out. If uh, current actions uh, will be successful, we will obtain a very interesting benefit for nesting shear waters. As you can see, uh, when uh, uh, planned uh, uh, or ongoing actions uh, will be successful, if will be successful, we will protect from rat predation more than 60% of nesting shearwater population, Italian shearwater populations. And uh, in uh, last years, we 
experienced many uh, techniques for preventing the rat invasion. Uh, this, uh, uh, there is one term, very effective term, biosecurity, for addressing this aspect. Uh, in uh, our case, the most effective uh, technique was placing uh, by stations with uh, rodenticides uh, in landing points uh, in small islands, small islands or uh, in harbour or um, larger islands. But uh, these uh, may have problems in the uh, next few years because the um, new regulations uh, from uh, European Union um, no longer will allow the use of permanent baiting. So we have to study a different strategy or we have to um, changing the, uh, the rules for uh, protecting the islands from rat invasions. Uh, just a few words about the uh, work uh, we are doing uh, in uh, these days. I, am, I, have, I came back from uh, the islands just uh, last night for being here uh, on time and this is uh, what we are doing uh, uh, in uh, Ventotene and Palmarola. We are doing the job with uh, our own personnel. We are um, doing the job uh, with the techniques and uh, rangers, which is a very interesting solution, especially in view of biosecurity. So we can uh, um, start uh, very, very soon if, uh, in case a rat will uh, invade newly the, the island. So it's a very interesting solution to do the job with our own personnel. And uh, just to resume our um, conclusions, uh, of course there is uh, um, the need for uh, raising awareness not only in uh, local communities about uh, this kind of project, but uh, also in uh, uh, public authorities uh, which uh, grant uh, uh, permissions for um, rat eradication in case you need the derogation. Of course, when dealing with uh, residents, uh, uh, with uh, islands with uh, hosting uh, residents, uh, communities, uh, is a um, crucial aspect to show uh, the uh, socioeconomic benefits deriving from rat removal from uh, the island. You can uh, quantify the monetary budget you save every year by removing rats. Um, of course, uh, we need to um, you to have uh, alternatives to the use of rodifacum, which is the most effective, but also the most toxic for non-target species anticoagulants on the market. So, in the future, uh, um, we need of an alternative to the use of anticoagulants. But uh, we know that on the market, at the moment, the only allowed product against rodents are anticoagulant rodenticides, and. Uh, uh, just uh, as a final remark, uh, I think that uh, uh, the most uh, important challenge in um, next year will be the biosecurity, uh, which is the effort we need to perform to prevent uh, rat reinvasion. And uh, I wish to thank you for your attention and most of all I need to thank my colleagues for the huge effort they, we did in the uh, last uh, months for eradicating rats on our islands. Thank you. Yes, um, uh, the um, 
problems of boats, yachts or uh, something similar is a, a real problem. So we have identified uh, on uh, islands the landing points, uh, the main landing points, which are of course two or three in, uh, maximum in, on an island. And then uh, we place the buy station uh, to protect uh, these landing points. Another kind of uh, approach is uh, um, to uh, promote a regulation from the municipality to, um, to make uh, the uh, boat companies uh, use uh, monitoring and uh, control system uh, on the, directly on the boats. So you can check uh, the um, rotary invasion on the landing points and also on the boats. But you need uh, of the help of the municipalities involved in the project, of, of course.